Hi, Cancer. So I have written down here, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. A lot of people squaring up this month, coming up, but also already in March, to want to fight. I'm not sure why anyone would want to fight with a Cancer. That seems like a really stupid thing to do, but you're also very underestimated. But right now you have some opposing forces that are making it really difficult to just live. And that's when I think you guys start to get really upset, where you're just like, can I live? Like, I'm really not trying to do anything to anyone, but I need the peace of mind to just be able to, like, live a life, just a normal life. And when people get in the way of that, it's really painful for you, but there is a speed with which all of that sort of behavior will be taken away from you, will be taken from your presence. There is a speed with which this antagonistic force is coming at you, there's no doubt, but with that same speed, it will move along. And so what do we do when we know that there's this gigantic wave coming and we know we'll survive it, but we just need to let it pass? Well, we can stand in the way of it and get knocked over, drown, or we can prepare ourselves for it, swim under it, or we can become frightened and panic and do nothing and freeze. The Eight of Wands here is like that wave. It is a wave that is coming towards you of all good things. And then the Five of Swords is what comes with it, as we already know that we've been talking about for months. So why is it still coming up? Why is the Five of Swords such a prevalent energy? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. So there is your enemy right there, Five of Swords. Someone who is trying to take food out of your mouth, take money out of your pocket, get you fired from a job, get you taken off a project malign your name and you're not really sure what this deep sort of it almost seems like an obsession is with you why is this person so obsessed with you that they feel the need to take from you it's confusing but what can we do with it? We can pack up and walk. Or we can stay and fight. You have to decide what's worth fighting for. I say this to Cancers a lot. When they talk to me about certain things and they're like, well, what would you do? I Very often my response to Cancers is, I don't fight losing battles. If I know something is just not going to work, I just know it's not going to work, I don't. I don't go down that road. But if you pick a road that you know isn't going to work and then you persist on it, I mean, at some point, either you'll figure out something really profound or that thing will happen because you've persisted so long. And that's kind of the Cancerian way. You know, a fool that persists in his folly will become wise. That's Blake. But sometimes you cannot persist. You can no longer persi persist. This Five of Swords energy is something, it's coming up in a part of your life that wants you to leave it behind. If that's a job situation, it's because you really do want to quit. If it's a love relationship, you are well aware that neither one of you is really being honest at this point. And if it's someone who's just like being your enemy, you don't even really have ties to this person. They've just decided like they don't like you. Um, it's possible. It's possible this time of year for that to be happening. So what do you do? What do you do when the eight of wands speed and fire is carrying the five of swords energy and then the nine of pentacles? Well... 
I think that there are certain things worth standing your ground for and then there are things that are worth your own peace of mind. So you can stand your ground in a work situation if you really do believe that this is the thing that you want and you love and um, there is no other way for you. Then stand your ground and have that fight and have that argument, but have it from a place of superior uh, status. How do I say that? Don't argue with anyone or don't fight with anyone from a place of lack. Do it from a place of not needing the thing because part of what's keeping you locked in here is that you feel like you need it. And that's a funny thing that cancers do sometimes where they act like they need things. Um, you don't need things. Cancers don't need anything. And this month is an exercise in that, actually. This month, April, is a reminder in how single and solitary and how powerful we are when we have Cancerian placements. So for Cancer Sun, this will be an exercise in noticing how your personal power affects those around you when you focus and concentrate it. So now that you know, and you've already known, obviously, that this Five of Swords energy is around, what do you want to do with it? Where do you want to go? Do you want to fight? Do you want to leave? Because quietly enduring and suffering is no longer an option. And although I know you guys love that, um, the summer is coming up. We don't want to do that. We want to have some fun, right? So now the other way to look at this here is Five of Swords. If you have been less than honest with someone, especially someone represented by the Nine of Pentacles, someone who is for the most part financially and materially well off, if you have been dishonest with that person or spun some sort of story around that person so they couldn't see the you know the really real um that story is quickly unraveling that whole situation is unraveling and i feel like those eight of wands are things that are now coming at you that you have to explain answer for etc so not the most pleasant way to look at it but if you find yourself in that small subset of people who are having to quote unquote face the music in a given situation. Someone wants to know why you said what you said or why you did what you did or um, that will be happening in April for you. And I know that makes you a little bit nervous. I get how like even the tech is acting. I understand. Um, I understand. All the cards almost just fell out of my hand. Um, I get that it makes you nervous and although you are adept at confrontation it is not what you would prefer but there are confrontations coming up prep yourself there are things that need to be broken away from especially there are situations that you are in that nobody understands but even you are beginning not to understand you had a logic to why you were persisting down the road you were but not even your own logic can explain it now you know there are just too many different factors that have come together and made you look at things and been like i'm sick of this <laughs> and you know when cancer is sick of something it may take us a little back and forth back and forth but sooner or later we ghost and i think that's what's going on cancer the friendly ghost um Cancers are out. Cancers are out. You guys are not trying to... There's too much going right in too many different areas to keep holding on to these, you know, losing lottery tickets that just, they'll never bring you anything. They're just taking up space. Page of Swords. So if your issue is with an air sign, like the Five of Swords was also sort of indicating, I can see that if you're having some sort of a doubtful, paranoid worry about an air sign who you think is like working against you or something like that, uh, they're coming up here as harmless. So I think that's more in your mind than you think. And then the strength card, the Leo card, 
Uh, if you are obviously dealing with a Leo, they're coming up pretty strong. And as someone who wants to communicate with you, also coming up favorably. If you are not dealing with a Leo, the guidance major arcana being here that... Um, sorry, I didn't know you couldn't see that very well. The guidance being here that we want to adopt the sort of patience and power and quiet strength that the woman is exhibiting here in dealing with the lion and shutting his mouth when he would rather have it open and be, you know, eating people. So her ability and knowledge and just her power within herself is your sort of archetypal guidance of how you need to approach April. There is this sort of lion of a situation that has been brewing, 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 and now it wants to roar at you. And I would really love it, just for me, if you would go into like cancer ninja mode, you know, where, you know how cancers can be, where they just go and their eyes kind of, you know, do that thing and they're just, they're not there. The only part of them that's there is this sort of um, autonomic nervous system part. Everything else has sort of turned into a machine like don't mess with me vibe. I would really like for you guys to go there because um, there is so much more coming up and so much more to do and so much more to accomplish. They're huge. You know, the three of wands, sometimes we overlook it because it's minor arcana and I don't know, there are just a lot of exciting cards in the deck, and so we like to, I think, focus on the ones that are a bit more flashy. But the really cool thing about the Three of Wands is what it's indicative of, where it's leading you. First of all, it's the out of six cards so far, it's the last card. And so the idea of the Three of Wands being the last card is like moving into much bigger, much better things, much more stable things, the implication being going towards the Four of Wands, seeking out the four of wands standing there with the three you know planning out how to get the fourth and in a lot of ways that's where cancer is there is a feeling of accomplishment but also how that's going to be to further accomplishment and how to keep kind of upselling the thing whatever you're doing there are new ideas sort of forming all the time and the more you have success in any area of life, whether it be your relationship takes off or your business idea takes off, whatever it is, you are sure to encounter more and more of this Five of Swords energy. So don't be surprised. Um, and also, there's no point in like living in despair about it. You know, one of the things that really bums cancers out, really bums you guys out, is why. You know, like, can't people just leave me alone and do what they need to do? I'm doing what I need to do. Why can't other people do what they need to do? And it's, you know, it's totally valid and it totally makes sense. But I think that cancers forget that they are one of the most solitary signs and they don't need people in the way that other people need people. And so when people are encroaching on you and expecting certain things from you and wanting to, you know, kind of over communicate with you and press on you and maybe, you know, antagonize you what you have to realize is that they're trying to fill a need for them. And you, in a lot of ways, are a really good way to fill that need. Why? Because you're always giving off this sort of um, tapped into source energy. So you may find that a lot of people, when you're doing well, especially like it's continuing, you know, you guys are continuing to do well, that the antagonism is ramping up more and more because the people are becoming more and more par parasitic and more and more vampiric towards you. They want more and more of that, you know, thing, that power from you. And it is time, like the woman in the strength card, to calmly uh, shut that lion's mouth. Whoever that lion is in your life, it doesn't have to be a Leo, but it's someone who is definitely overstepping their bounds and overstepping their place in your life. In the I Ching, it says that when dogs and nations over overstep their territory, they quarrel. Um, and so there is someone in your life who's definitely overstepping your bounds and taking all sorts of liberties with you. And you have to sort of, you know, put them back in their place. Now, as a Cancer, if you're dealing with an air sign who is coming up as rather diminished here in this reading, there is also 
I don't know why my voice cracked. There is also this message to be really, really strong about moving forward from them and leaving that situation behind. I think my voice is cracking for whoever is like the air sign. Like I think I'm like picking up the emotions of whoever the air sign is that cancers are done with because it's like, it's super heavy. Like this is someone who really, really wants you in their life. But I can just feel how you guys are so done. There's too many people pushing from too many different arenas and too many different aspects of your life for you to be able to distinguish now between the ones that are like sort of harmless and the ones that are really toxic, now it's just kind of clean sweep time where Cancer's like, you know what, I'll, I'll just walk away from all of it. Like, forget it. You know, I often find that um, when I hang out with other signs who don't really know about my Cancer rising or they don't pay attention to rising signs or whatever, um, and they do something that sort of hits on those Cancer buttons for me, they are always really surprised because it's so uncharacteristic for a Gemini. It's so unchar uncharacteristic for a Virgo to be, you know, savage like that. Like Geminis are savage, but not like that. Like Cancers have this whole, whole other sort of savagery where you will just drop a thing, drop a thing, drop a situation, drop like whatever that was like up until yesterday or up until five minutes ago was legitimately the most important thing in your life. But once that tripwire is tripped too many times, you know, and this is the month out of 2018, out of this year, this is the month where if you're going to drop stuff, it's going to be in April. If you're not going to drop it now, you're going to have to deal with it for the rest of the year. And quite honestly, the situation may not even let you do that. The situation may drop you because it has to end. Somehow the, this energy that is persisting in your life of working against you working against you feeling like the tide is constantly turning against you no matter how many times you turn around because I've used that analogy and I know there's a lot of you who are like no but I'm trying to work with the tide I'm trying to stand in the right flow with the current but every time I move the current goes the other way I understand and it is absolutely understandable that happens it does and you really do feel like no matter what you do you're in the wrong you just can't do it right and you're looking at your life and you're going is this my life what is this now is the time to not only ask the question, but also provide the answer. Is this my life? No. My life is what I'm making it now. My life is wherever I'm heading in this Three of Wands card. And yes, there is a lot of residual pain with the people that I'm leaving behind. But the situations I'm leaving behind are such that, you know, I'm too good for it. I think finally... There are moments where cancer has to admit to themselves, no matter how humble they want to be, that they're too good for a situation. And a lot of times that has to do with a situation where you are being heavily manipulated or persecuted in some way. And you'll deal with it and you'll deal with it because, quite honestly, I think cancers breathe that sort of environment. So it's fine. It's like, okay, you're doing it too. Well, I'm kind of doing it to myself too. Don't discount that, by the way. Um... And yet here we are. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Okay. The light is super bright. I hope it works. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let me just turn this off. All right, so as you can see here, it's much easier. There is a situation, let's read it like a story. There is a situation that is approaching very quickly from many sides at once that makes you feel like there's a lot that's being taken away from you and it's being done with a certain amount of pleasure. It's an antagonistic force that really wants to see you fail and wants to steal from you in many ways and you really don't understand why. But what you have to understand is regardless of the little why of what, how this person or why this person or what the hell is the greater thing that it is pushing you towards, the greater 
um, outcome that was always the reasoning behind it, which was to make your best material self emerge. Everything that's going on for you right now that's pushing against you is pushing you into whatever you need to do to make this Nine of Pentacles a reality. Let me say that again. The situations that you're encountering that seem like they're coming from all sides and it feels like you are being picked on and you are being singled out and you're being persecuted, they're all being done systematically to push you in all these different ways to get you to walk specifically towards this Nine of Pentacles. And what is the Nine of Pentacles? It is the fruition of your material wants and dreams. So, looked at in that light, obviously, this situation is very beneficial for you. Of course, is it painful in the meantime? Yes. Of course, is it emotional and uh, sometimes quite abusive? Absolutely. But can you also see that it is being done so you'll leave those situations behind and walk further and further towards the Nine of Pentacles? Okay, now, on this road and while on this journey and while dealing with all of this, there has been this air sign energy of communication and understanding, this Leo energy of strength and bravado and ego, and this Three of Wands energy of really wanting to get away from it all and start something with a new foundation. You see, he has three wands. He doesn't have four. The foundation is not built yet. He's looking to build a foundation. For me, this is about building a new foundation, going away from all of this, going away from all the old, tired things, even the version of yourself that you thought you wanted to be, even that, and leaving all of it behind for something better. Now, what are you leaving behind? Well, we know you're leaving a lot of people behind. But perhaps not the ones you thought. Perhaps you get to hold on to people that you didn't think could be yours. Perhaps the past comes back to revisit you in the form of a Virgo. You have fortune turning in your favor once again. You have the feeling for the first time in probably more than a decade, probably 12 years, that you feel like you're on top of things and life is starting to go your way. And this has you really wanting to offer the world to everyone around you, which will ultimately lead to great success because it is the sincerity of this offer and the clarity of this person's, this card's heart that attracts this sort of six of wands success that's public and everyone can see that this person is quite valuable. Yeah, let's do, let's do an outcome card. And then in the extended, we'll take more of a look at the Virgo card and the Wheel of Fortune. We'll take a look at all the major arcana and we'll do another shuffle. Look more at the love thing perhaps, because this is a lot about just ironing out the kinks in all those emotional relationships that are just, you know, they're too creased. They're not working. They feel wrong. They feel like frenemy situations. You know, all this kind of combative energy when really you could be flying high above it all. How? By keeping to yourself, you know? The hermit energy is also another character who can just, you know, I'm out. And just be out. And I think that is very much the energy needed from you right now because perhaps you have been too available, too nice, too available, too loving, too quickly. And now, you know, the universe is coming in and saying, take a hermit moment, realize that all of that, too much love, too quickly, too open, that you really need to do that for yourself which means every time you start to think a bad thing about yourself, you stop yourself. 
right? That's one of the ways you can love yourself is every time you start to think something bad about yourself, you stop yourself and you say, no, I love myself. I'm not going to let anyone talk to me like that. Not even me. So outcome, cancer, April 2018, Aries new moon, Scorpio full moon, Mercury retrograde. I mean, just the moon events alone are going to have you guys head spinning. And then on top of that, someone wants to have the Five of Swords energy with you. That is such a mistake. And yet the Five of Swords become the Seven of Wands because whenever someone tries to do something bad for you, it turns into something good for you. It turns into something bad for them. It's so funny, the cards are like coming out, but then just like going back. It's like they're being shy. There is an element when doing really well to become shy, to not want to tell It's okay. Take a seat. Ooh. Okay. S okay. Interesting. Nine of swords, eight of swords. Hey, that's good. We like that. That's great. That's a lovely progression right there. Yay. Out of the bed. Hey. Out of the dark. Even better. Okay, so not, you know, very comfortable still, but, and then the hangman. So the hangman here clearly as major kind of guidance saying, listen, there's no harm in being stuck in a situation as long as you're learning something from it. Being stuck in a situation and not learning anything from it is quite a useless activity, no? But being stuck in it and learning something is kind of great. But the Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, I mean, I get it. That there is a lot of collective pain. And there is a part of you that wants to sort of drop out or check out of everything for a little while. And you know what? I don't blame you. And I don't think that you should keep yourself from doing that. I think you should do it. I think you should take a little break from everything. I mean, obviously, let people know you're alive or whatever. But just let them know that for a few days, you just want to be alone. And process all this. All right. Well, Cancer, you pulled me all the way in. I am like in a zone right now. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck Queen of Pentacles, Four of Cups, the Death card. Seven of Pentacles, Four of Swords. All right, so we'll look at those. We'll do Major Arcana, Major Arcana clarification, and then we'll shuffle again. Below, you can find the links to the extended readings. They should be coming up right here, a little box in the middle. You click on that, it'll take you to my website. And there, you click on extended readings, and they're all there. You can buy them, you can rent them, you can stream them, you can download them. It's instant. Or if you like the old method where you can click on a link on Shopify and buy through PayPal, you can do that. The other method, you can use whatever payment you want. There is that stuff. And then there'll be two links below, one for the April 6th event in Atlanta and the other for the April 8th event in New York City. Um, both are almost all sold out. So yeah, those links will be below. And I'll leave my Instagram and my, you know, the Facebook group and everything. Instagram is the best way to communicate. And we hang out all the time. So you should definitely check that out. All right. I love you. I will see you in the extended. Bye.